Hello, friends, and welcome to Big T's 3-Minute Market Minder. Today, I'm actually coming to you from Silicon Valley. I'm here for the next th uh, three days attending a conference that is about uh, IoT, uh, but also has a blockchain component to it. And today, we got to hear from this gentleman right here, Bill Tai. Some people call him the world's greatest venture capitalist. Ty has taken about a dozen companies public, from the startup phase, seed phase, all the way to taking them public. He was also one of the early folks involved in TSM. This is Taiwan Semiconductor, which is a huge semiconducting uh, manufacturing firm out in Taiwan has a hundred and seventy seven billion dollar market cap. So Bill Tai is a really smart guy. Why am I talking about him? I'm talking about him because he is the guy behind Bitfury and the Bitfury group uh, are the guys that build the machines that underlie the Bitcoin uh, blockchain, right? So the machines that people use to do the so-called Bitcoin mining, uh, many of those machines are built by Bitfury. And what was interesting about the conversation today that Bill Tai had was that he said that you've got to really think of things like Bitcoin and the blockchain more as a way, of, as a mechanism of moving value, right? Which is so hard for us to get our head around, especially those of us that, you know, were born, you know, more than 40 years ago. Because to us, value is tangible. It's something that we can hold in our hand. But if you look at the world around us now, and you look at the companies, the valuations companies have, you will see that value is being aggregated around companies that don't really have very many physical assets, right? Facebook basically has no physical assets. Google has no physical assets. Right. So what they have done is essentially taken, you know, uh, uh, the intangible through a user interface and created value. Right. So it's not so crazy to imagine that you can see similar types of value creation take place. Let's call it in Bitcoin or in the blockchain space. Right now, most people view Bitcoin either as an alternative currency or as uh, simply a, a form of digital gold. But there are other uses for Bitcoin and for the Bitcoin network, you know, as a, as a storehouse of value, as, as a way to keep track of, um, uh, 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 to keep a, a ledger of value in a way that can't be tampered with. I think we're just beginning to understand some of the ways that that can be used. And there are multiple startups um, uh, uh, being birthed all over the world looking to create applications that can lie on top of the Bitcoin network, that can explode value in a way that we can't imagine. I mean, think about it. In, in you know, 1995, you know, we, the Internet was out there. We knew about the Internet. But, but nobody had really fully fleshed out and conceptualized something like Facebook. Yeah, there were a couple of things like MySpace and Friendster, but they hadn't really kind of cracked that market. And so that next level of value creation that I think we're going to see take place in the cryptocurrency space is going to be in some form of... Um, uh, 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 some form of application or front-facing type of um, a useful piece of interface that, that we can use in a way that creates value in a whole brand new method that we don't even know about yet. The same way that Google did that, that Amazon did that, that eBay did that, that to a lesser extent Yahoo did that. I think that what Bill Tai was saying today is that we need to keep an open mind about blockchain and we need to cope, keep an open mind about Bitcoin, that it's a lot bigger than what we may currently imagine with the information that we have in front of us. All right, friends, that is enough out of me. I didn't mean to get too deep there, but it was a very thought-provoking talk uh, that Bill uh, Ty gave today, and it was something I wanted to share with you. And I will catch up with you in the next video, and I want you to always remember, let the game come to you.